major pentad. First chord is a six chord, E7, six, and then A7 is a two dominant, D7 is a five, and then we're in the key of G major. It's funny, it starts on the six chord section, goes around the cycle, the dominant E, A, D, G sound. E, this is just a tune. Remember, we're in the key of G. That's the big picture. So here's G major penta. And that's also E minor blues. Here's E minor. This is the second half of the song. pretty bluesy to just do that the whole way through the whole song and you can do that just to play the E minor pentatonic slash blues again that's the equivalent as you all know now to G major pentatonic slash G major blues scale same thing and again I encourage you to do that <laughs> again you'll just just all the way through um, of the of this um, course kind of outlining the chords a little bit more now because and I hope I hope I made my point here with hey you can stay on one scale through the whole thing but it's also nice which is what I want to do because it's to me it's more jazz style especially play the changes 
especially on when you have four bars. But but you know, I was gonna also say this: this this these video excerpts um, are going on the Vimeo page, and I want to say that you can slow it down on Vimeo, not just YouTube now, but you can slow down the videos. So if you're like, "Ooh, that was nice," you know, go just slow it down. That's my recommendation. Oh. But I, I, that's why I'm just noodling. I always say noodling in in a good way. The, around these scales and I'm kind of messing around with the same exact shapes that that we're all playing together I mix but one thing that I notice is that I, I like to experiment with fingerings I don't necessarily play it the same way like on I did one thing here where I used all four fingers versus sliding sometimes I'll like to do that Instead of this, I go. So um, that that kind of changes the articulation. But that to me is an E minor blues here. So I'm kind of thinking a different position, but pretty much what I'm trying to limit myself is exactly what you have written on the paper as far as like today, this. blues scale with the E minor blues connecting the dots. So what I like for you to try to do is to play to the chord. So one thing that I think is nice when you have an E7 chord, the triad is basically major. One, three, five, not minor. Minor makes it sound, and that's the whole, that's the whole bluesy thing. That's like Johnny B. Good sounding. You have E7 and playing the E minor blues against that dominant chord. Okay, that really makes it bluesy. But what's what's nice, again, I might say it's better in any way, but a different flavor is play that E7 and then play that E major pentatonic or E major blues. We're almost like we're in the key of E major for that moment. Pop quiz. E major penta equals what minor penta? It's, <laughs> I'm reading lips. I hope you all said C sharp minor, right? C sharp. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for the sign language. Here's E, here's a quick method again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reiterate this a lot. Here's E, that's major. We gotta go sad, minor, C sharp minor. So again, we have an E7 chord. Let's see. That's, I instantly went to this position. Again, if, if we had a rock beat, it would sound like Almond Brothers or Skinner. I'm, I'm now pushing you to play in the changes a little bit here. So this is where we get some of the strategies coming in. I have it on loop, only on that E7. I know it's kind of a brisk tempo. Um, E7 for, for four bars. It's just on loop. I'm gonna start here, C sharp minor. Again. And right now, all I can say is sing what you play <laughs> instead of saying like, to play dotted eighth note. I'd almost rather have you play what you sing versus singing what you play. And that kind of means when you're out of breath too, don't play. As Miles Davis would say, take your hand off the instrument. Well, he would probably have added a few words, but take your hand off the instrument and just let it breathe. I mean, again, this is kind of the easy swing so style soloing phrasing, meaning this. Breathe. I'm thinking C sharp minor penta blues. And I'm staying on three strings. Sometimes I like to start low. E. But here's E major penta. The melody is this, by the way. right out of the pentatonic scale. And 
and then get minor to make it bluesy of three frets. So this is a great trick, happy major. A little chromatic. Right here, minor. It's like the same lick, but now let's go back here. Move it up. Same shape, that's the idea, is to keep it really simple. The only thing is, on this song in particular, and this ties into the whole blues approach when we look at these jazz standards, uh, um, when it goes to the four chord, that's the ideal time to make it minor. So when I add in that A7 chord in this song, that's when I want you to go to the E minor. And, we'll, we'll de and that's pretty much what the melody does too. The melody is this. That was all E major penta. And then on the A7 chord, it turns to minor. So when I'm playing on a tune such as Sweet Georgia Brown, I like to often go E major for four bar. And then I minor it. Now I'm getting a lot more note here, but again, just major to minor. That's what I want you to think. And that's gonna tie over into many of these songs to practice major to minor. That's huge. Especially when we hit songs such as to practice major to minor. That's huge. After You've Gone, I'll See You In My Dreams, All Of Me, all these songs, <laughs> Stardust, Moonglow, um, major to minor is huge. E major to E minor, E major. E minor. It's on loop, so back to E major. E minor. Don't forget that's G major. Major. Minor. And back to major. I'm keeping the phrases short. And gravity minor. right around the horn. So I'm gonna loop that. And basically, I'm gonna try to start on the root. Here's the progression, just so that you can see it looped. See the E for four bars, A for four bars, D for four bars, then it gets a little bit fancy, G, D, G, B7. That's just all G major. And I'm gonna treat it as, in my head, when I'm soloing, I'm thinking E major pentatonic, for four, A pentatonic for four. These are all major, but you can do the, the minor. You might have to grab a piece of paper and write it out, but you know, you'll know you start to connect these um, as you start to do this. Again, I know this is, this is now, now I'm asking you to play four different scales <laughs> on this 16 bars versus the easy method at the beginning here. But check it out, E. I'll start with E major penta. I'm just loopy 
16 bars. 